I'm live. Welcome every morning. Welcome every morning. Welcome everybody to the morning coffee with Chris. Clearly I haven't had enough coffee. <clears throat> Gotta work on my Zvihander character. I only have two weeks to prepare. So, gotta get started. And I'm having a protein bar, sorry. I should show you the character. Mm -hmm. Okay, so got some good stats, got a really high fellowship, 52, some decent other ones, but this 39 brawn and this 37 agility really sucks because he's a warrior, bravo. How can you be a, a bravo if you're, if you're not light on your feet? I don't know. So I'm looking through the book to figure out we're playing an upper level game and so... Oh, an advanced tier here. So my first one is, my first profession is Bravo. Morning, chill out. I figured you'd show up. <laughs> Especially since we just talked on Discord a little while ago about it. A window does not get you fresh air. Did you walk the dogs? It's just going to be hanging out and chit chat. minutes of walking is better than none. Is it like 10 minutes all day or what? Just 10 minutes a day? Walking's good for you. You should get 8,000 steps, they say. I don't know. Let's see here, uh, so Baldrick Throgwood, 
I think I'm going to name him Firebrand because uh, he's a halfling. He's four feet tall. Um, but he's got light brown skin, fiery red hair, and copper eyes. Firebrand. I, I could call him the torch. The torch of justice. <laughs> Oh, dude, you really got to get enough exercise. It's valid. It's a very important thing because otherwise your bones all start getting all kind of your, your body stops learning how to bend and stuff. I don't get enough exercise myself. I know all about it. Luckily, I've got the kid and she needs a 10 minute walk every day, too. <laughs> I'm going to need more coffee already. Oh, my gosh. All right. So uh, he's low born halfling so street urchin got into the military um and then um i became a bravo so a duelist sort of and then um so the question is how do i make it all work together <clears throat> so Oh, and I, we, we're using a unique advancement, so I can s pass a skill for something else. What's it, what's it say? Uh, I think I have to get rid of a skill for something else, or gain a skill. can't remember what he said. I'll have to check into that before I figure it out. It's definitely not... Hey, morning, Shinobi. Here's some coffee. Cheers. How are things in uh, in your neck of the woods? You're in Brazil, right, Shinobi? So my Zweihander character, it started out with some pretty decent rolls. You roll 3d10 plus 5, so the maximum is 55. So I got a 52 here, um, 42 is about where you generally land. So I got a couple that are under, um, and then a couple that are over. So over average perception, really high fellowship, uh, which is like charisma, personality type thing. So like rumor, I gotta look up what rumor is all about. It might be that his whole thing is he doesn't, he would rather win a duel of words than fight, but will fight if necessary. I think that's going to be his thing. But as a vigilante, he's probably just going to have to fight all the time, so I better load him up on some fighting stuff. So if we look, he's got two martial melee ranks and two simple melee ranks, which is super cool. No martial ranged. That's ugly. So not going to be a crossbow kind. He's definitely going to be a... So if we go to talents and trappings, we can see like what all this stuff is. So the ones that are most important right, are this one, this one, this one, and this one, I think. Oh, and this one. So... Vim and Vigor comes from Bravo. When you parry a melee weapon, you immediately get to attack if you have a weapon with finesse quality. So, my main weapon needs to be a finesse weapon because Fencer's Panache says when you take aim and then make a successful melee attack, you force a foot to resist a disarm. So I could disarm them, um, but I have to have a fast or finesse. So again, finesse. And then Lightning Reflexes says I get an additional action point to dodge or parry. So with Lightning Reflexes, I get that point to parry. And then with Vim and Vigor, when I parry, I automatically get to attack, but I have to have a finesse. And the, it, then to do my regular actions, if I spend a point to take aim and then attack again with a finesse quality weapon, um, they might I might disarm them so with all that in mind I've been thinking about weapons because we're gonna get a certain amount of money to spend on trappings 
one of the things I'm definitely going to need is a melee weapon. So, the warrior comes with... Hmm, 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 hmm. Professions. If we look at your basic tier, profession, bravo. No, I need the uh, warrior. So my archetype here is warrior. So I get a fire hardened spear. I'm a four foot tall halfling. What am I going to do with this spear? Seriously. Four foot tall halfling. I get a spear, heavy boots. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to start writing stuff down. Uh, talents and trappings here. Here, add. So, heavy boots. And then, um, lantern. Shinobi, buddy. Shinobi. What are you up to today? Nothing much. All right. Heavy boots, lantern. Oh, my nose itches. I don't know what's going on. I've been sneezing all day. Can't be sick. Haven't left the house for like three days. <laughs> that sounds terrible. It's the COVID thing. It's because I'm unemployed. I mean, I'm working on some stuff military attire that sounds boring all right military attire oil pot why does he keep doing that oil pot ooh red cap mushrooms I'm just gonna put red cap beside what they are dude come on Okay, uh, red caps, rucksack, leather armor, all right, oh, see, it closed all those things again. Tink shirt number three, and then, oh, and a wooden shield. I don't know that I'm going to be big on the wooden shield as a bravo. Okay, so this is like starting stuff. And then choose one, an arbalest crossbow. Arbalest crossbow is one that you got to crank up. But again, if we go back and we look at my skills and attributes, I'm just going to do it all open. I am not a ranged weapon kind of guy, so I'm going to skip the crossbow. And then it says a mortuary sword or a pike. Looking down at weapons... The mortuary sword is vicious. Um, here, I'll read you the what it says. The most common weapon for explorers. It is useful and evokes little fuss. Not surprisingly, it tends to cleave violently, thus its name. So if I look at mortuary sword, it's one-handed. I have to be engaged, which is right next to somebody. Um, and then, but its only quality is vicious. That does not work with my... Does not work with my... Into my skill set, sort of. So I think I'm going to have to find another... Find another weapon. Either a Misericord or a... Mm, 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 a court sword or um, oops went too far I'm looking in both the rule book and main gauche to see where, what kind of see now a court sword is perfect it's fast and finesse but I don't really need to be fast and finesse I can look up to see what those mean though I'm gonna scroll back here zoop 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 uh, weapon qualities. So fast, whenever a foe is struck by weapons of this quality, suffer a minus 10 base chance to dodge or parry. Oh ho ho! And finesse is weapons of this quality always reference 
AB instead of CB. Now that's not awesome because my agility AB is 37 and my CB 40 is 42. Ooh, it's a five point shift. But I get so many, I get so, oh, the dog's not up for it, poor pup. I get so many other bonuses for using a finesse weapon, I think it kind of offsets because I can parry, and if I'm struck and I parry, then I get an attack of opportunity. So, a court torch not bad, because it's going to give them le 10 less chance to dodge or parry. Uh, I think I'm going to have a visitor here. So we're gonna, i got to get some coffee. I will be right back. We have, uh, since she's in virtual school, we have um, a standard day schedule agreement. And so I have to stick to the agreement um, so that she sticks to the agreement. And the agreement is that at 9.30, uh, after her morning lesson, they have a meeting with the whole class and then they have a first grade lesson. After the lesson, she gets a 15 minute snack and brain break. So I had to make sure she got a snack. She chose banana pudding, banana cream pudding. It's very low sugar, so it's fine. And then she has, I just have Alexa set a 15 minute timer so she knows when to get back to schoolwork. Okay, so, <coughs> back to this weapon thing. The weapon, a finesse weapon is gonna be way better. So a fast finesse weapon is gonna work into my skill set a little better. So let's scroll back down to the uh, melee weapons again. I could use a rapier, but it's also weak. So if I look up weak, weapons of this quality can only inflict moderate or serious wounds, never grievous injuries. I'd much rather kill somebody on the spot if I have to. I feel like that, so that, I don't think the rapier's the, the right choice. It's got fast, it's got finesse, but, it, but then when it's weak, that means if I strike them, they're going to get a chance to strike back. And duelists, I don't think, would go for that. I don't think that's what, what, I would, what I'd be looking for. Fast week, fast week, fast week. So we're looking at, it's going to be either a court sword. Um, misericord. Or court sword, misericord, or...
Fast finesse light weak no. That would be a good second, so a base lard? It's a good second weapon. Fast finesse. It's a it's like a dagger that the hoity toities carry. Blinding finesse slow, finesse light, vicious weak. It's always like a drawback to these. Finesse weak, finesse weak. Like the base lord is, these weapons go from occupying tombs to finding their way into the hands of criminals. <laughs> I am lowborn. Oversized versions of these daggers are sometimes a centerpiece of discussion among nobles as a fashion accessory. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of respect for the nobles being a lowborn. So I think I'm going to go interesting choice in terms of character it's all randomly rolled i could have stayed human but i chose to roll on the races table and i got halfling so i'm four foot tall 64 pounds and uh i have um i like a drawback which is a bleeder so it means anytime someone heals uh, they need an extra bandage, but I have kleptomania where I might have just stolen a bandage from somebody anyway <laughs> So that's, it's not really a wash because I have to use a fortune point for that and those are hard to come by But I think a court sword is the answer to this so I'm gonna need a court sword Definitely gonna need a court sword. Or or this uh let me see that Let's see what this is all about. Uh misericorde. Uh, the French word for mercy was a long narrow knife used from the high middle ages to deliver the death stroke the mercy stroke hence the name of the blade act of mercy to a seriously wounded knight hmm interesting I'm just looking at pictures of them now because I'm like oh ooh. It's a long, thin blade, very narrow, sometime ornate handle, but most of them just had like twisted metal crossbars. Uh, looks like very basic thing, almost like a stiletto. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm, I was gonna say misery, but it's mercy. <laughs> was used to dispatch knights who had received mortal wounds, which were not always quickly fatal in the age of bladed combat. It could be used as a means of killing an active adversary as during a grappling struggle. The blade could be pushed through the visor or eye holes with the aim of piercing the brain. All right, so let me look at that versus a court sword. Small sword, court sword designed for thrusting, which evolved on a longer, heavier rapier. Height of the soul. Small swords popular in the 17th, 18th century. Uh-huh. When any man, civilian or military, with pretensions to gentlemanly status, who would have worn a small sword on a daily basis? All right, well, I'm definitely going to get that one. The court sword. It's like a lighter rapier, looks like. 24 to 33 inches in length, tapers to a sharp point but lacks a cutting edge, triangular in cross section, also some of the early examples have a rhombic or spindle based. Hmm, interesting, okay. Hmm. 
infantry officers. Oh, I like this. This this works. Good. Yeah, so the court sword is cool. Infantry officer. So he was an infantry officer. I'm also, I think, going to take the the other one, just in case. Because the one... The court sword is 7 gold, and the Missouri court is 2, so that's like 9 gold crowns. 7 gold crowns, 2 gold crowns. Okay, so I think that's good for weapons. I'm not going to be a ranged guy. I'm not, I'm not a blunt weapon guy. I think just a, a main sword and a backup weapon. Okay, good. And that all works into my talents and trappings. So if I look here, uh, weapon with the finesse quality, fast or finesse quality. So then I parry with that free action point and uh, get an attack. Of, when someone attacks, I get an attack of opportunity on them. And then on my turn, I can take aim and use a melee action to try to disarm them. And because the court sword is fast, and, well, both are fast and finesse, I also get this knife work when I deal damage. With a fast quality, they must resist with a toughness test or start to bleed. So I could bleed them, get them bleeding, and disarm them. And then I have this Strangler's Union. When you make an attack action with a blackjack, bullwhip, or Geralt, your foe cannot dodge or parry this attack. Interesting. Let me look at simple melee weapons. I don't think a bull whip for a four foot long. That just makes me a projectile when they yank on it. 64 pounds. But a blackjack. Powerful pummeling. Versus a girl. Entangling fast. Ineffective. A blackjack might be the way to go here. You know, every once in a while I have to hop up on a table and be like, Badoosh! With a blackjack and knock them the F out. It's too early to swear. Plus the kid's nearby somewhere, I'm sure. Blackjack is nothing more than a glorified leather sack full of lead shot. Or alternatively, an officer's club. That's what I'm going to have. Yeah, well... I stream from my time zone into your time zone, so you, I, I have learned to reel in the swearing. Officer's Club, which is a blackjack, really. And uh, comes out to be, oh, I lost it now. Two shillings to SS. Okay. Alright. I think I'm done with weapons. Now for armor, I start with Bloodler Warrior. Oh, it's in my, put in my talents and trappings. Uh, leather armor. So let's look at armor. Armor qualities. Armor statistics. That's what we need. descriptions all right let's see leather uh, standard issue armor for well-paid mercenaries leather type depends on the location most of it is boiled and hardened cowhide but sets made from shark skin on the coast or lizard hide in the deep south are not uncommon interesting okay leather gives me a damage threshold modifier of two there is no quality it is worth 20 hmm brigandine cloth on the outside metal plates on the inside worn off my traveling lords this otherwise studded or banded leather offers protection while reflecting the latest of fashion not me definitely going to stick with the leather armor. 
and I have a shield, a wooden shield. So I came from my starting. So if I look at wooden shield, one handed defensive light, well, I like that. Versus the buckler, which is one handed. So. <clears throat> Yes, but I can't be swearing in front of the six-year-old because then she's going to go to school and do it and then there's trouble because of that social stigma. Buckler, this handheld shield is generally no broader than a dinner plate, often used in training and duels entirely. It's entirely useless against anything larger than a training sword. You use it to block arrows if you have reflexes of a cat. You mean lightning reflexes, which is what I have. Wooden shield. These shields are bought and painted beautifully, though among poorer soldiers, they're simply barrel lids or rotted, reappropriated to oak doors. Actually provides a solid amount of defense, as long as they're not splintered or set ablaze. You're talking about, like, in real life, where to buy a cutlass or a leather tricorn? Is that what you're saying? text messages from the, the daughter's mother. She's back in COVID ICU today, um, working it, not in, not um, sick. Uh, and she already says that her, some of her patients are already in really bad condition. I mean, if I'm going to buy a, a, this dragon sword I bought, I got it on Amazon. <sighs> well, then you have to find somebody nearby. If you live in Ireland, I'm sure you could just walk into a shop. Don't they have tricorn hat and sword shops? <laughs> Oh, the brain break is over. I gotta disappear for a minute and make sure the kid gets to work on some school stuff. Be right back. And I need more coffee.
What do you need a pirate hat and sword for? Got something going on, I don't know, boat. Oh, I don't need to look at that anymore. I already chose my weapons. I'm gonna stick with the leather armor, this shield. Shield, fancy so fast sword, fast finesse sword. Okay. Armor, 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 shield, shield, shield. Good dog, good to go. War machines, ammunition. I don't need ammunition. Ooh. You know. Should I have a gun? Sailing the Baltic Sea in a pirate LARP. Like, for real, on an actual ship? I mean, Amazon, dude. Every Amazon has everything. Amazon has everything. I'm going to pop back up to weapons. Have a quick look-see at guns. Martial range. What's my martial range? Simple range, no martial range. So I gotta go with simple ranged weapons, which is not. I could get a blunderbuss. That thing would knock me off my feet. It would be hilarious. Shoot the blunderbuss and go flying backwards. <laughs> Bolas, bottle bomb, Francisco, which is an axe, hunting bow, javelin, light crossbow. I just don't see this character carrying that type of stuff. I really wish I could get a pistol, a dueling pistol, but I'm terrible at it. Ostentatious and unusually decorated these from like, ah, see now a, a dueling pistol would be a terrible weapon for a vigilante because we're playing vigilantes. You don't want a weapon because I wouldn't be able to carry the weapon during the day if it's ostentatious people would recognize it he had a really great blah 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 so if I go with like a regular flintlock or flintlock gunpowder volatile gunpowder volatile fast finesse missile composite bow Ooh, I like the composite bow. That's another seven gold. Sheesh. All right, so. These are just notes on things I'm, I want. But that's it for weapons. I'm not going to get a gun. I'd like a gun, but I feel like it just doesn't fit him. doesn't fit his character. Okay, ammunition. Sure. Let's see. I need um, an arrow is one silver. So, arrow... Times ten equals. If I need more than ten arrows, it's time to get my sword out. <laughs> uh, I had jokingly said I needed a war dog, but I might need a war dog. Let's see here. Uh, calf, chariot, chicken, cow, dog, sled. Galley warship, duck, falcon, a duck, a halfling with a duck, hunting dog, 8GC. I'm going to ask the GM if I get a hunting dog, can I ride it? What I need to do is look at my third, the really important thing I need to do is look at my third profession. I already have Bravo and Vigilante, but since we're at advanced level, advanced here, we get one more. So I'm gonna pop up the professions here and see if I like any of them. And then I'm gonna go through main gauche. 
Maybe I should go through main gouge first. Mm -hmm. Might be a good idea. Uh, Livor Mortalium? Yes. I'll close that down. It's having some, some issues. All right, professions for main gauche. Let's see what looks interesting, huh? Because normally you would roll, but we get to choose. Apostle, no. Blitz baller. <laughs> Four foot tall, sixty four pound blitz baller, huh? <laughs> oh man, that would be weird. I don't think so. A cadet, though a few military great that have been forged in the heat of battle, many commanders generally raised starting their martial journey as a cadet. They are officers in training. Most cadets are children of wealthy aristocrats. Mm, I could pretend I bought my way in. I don't think cadets the way to go either. Convict. It's mostly A B B B. Let's go back up and look at uh, A B B B. Folklore, guile, intimidate, resolve, rumor, and that would get me another point in rumor. Eesh. Hmm. Athletics, folklore. I should get something that gives me martial ranged. Good idea. Or backs up like my martial melee. Fence. Mm -mm. Simple ranged. Forger, nah, not my thing. Henchman, I don't think so. Messenger. Four foot tall messenger. <laughs> uh, nomad. Hmm. Pamphleteer. Awareness, bargain, eavesdrop, education, folklore, interrogation, rumor, scrutinize, simple melee, tradecraft. Interesting. Pioneer. I don't think I'm a pioneer. I don't like walking. It's too far to go all the time. I got short legs. I'm only four feet tall. Quacksalver. The lowborn do not trust many things, wizards, politicians, or even each other. However, when they become sick or weary and the local old believer is not strung up by witch hunters, the poor and the gullible instead turn to the itinerant Quacksalver. Um, I mean, I super high on fellowship and we bump up uh, bonus advanced education and get me skill ranks not my thing quartermaster also not my thing reaver which is a viking Rustler, horse flesh and livestock are made in Portland Street. Nope. I'd probably make a great jockey. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Let's look at expert professions. <clears throat> See if there's anything I like. Alienist? You must possess at least one skill rank in heal. Which I do not, but I have a unique advance that I think I could get it. Whenever you put on hypnosis, patients also entranced. Whenever you fail to perform hypnosis, both of your patients suffer from stress. Armager. Artillerist? Ooh, let's see how artillerist might be what I'm looking for. Uh, 
Tillers were once engineers themselves. In fact, it, it is the common man at arms who does the actual firing of war machines, but they would be useless if it was not for their artillerists' ever vigilant eye. Okay, so the artillerist bombs away. Uh, you may flip the results to succeed at warfare. Athletics coordination. That's not what I'm looking for. A barnstormer is what I thought would be funny. Substitute pilot in case of any skill required to drive a vehicle, use a boat, or ride a creature. Oh, really? Well, that doesn't matter. I have nothing in either in any of them, so nothing in pilot, nothing in ride because of any low coordination. Blade Dancer. To the Blade Dancer, war is not a means to an end, but rather an art form. The Blade Dancer is the ultimate warrior aesthetic, ascetic, one who has trained their entire life to bring their mind and body into perfect alignment to be able to strike down their enemy swiftly and without pain. Without pain? That doesn't sound like me. Because my uh, alignment is candor and cruelty. And so, oh, that would be interesting. I could kill them without pain, but I choose to inflict great pain on them. Cruelty point. <laughs> Chaos point. I mean, of all weapons, the long and deadly greatsword is often linked on their choice. The Blade Dancer's ideology revolves around inward and outer grace, harmoniously living in sympatico with nature far removed from civilization and a hermitage. All to prepare body and mind. Okay, that's interesting. What does it get me? Lightning reaction, handspring, overwhelming force. Overwhelming force from a four foot tall character would be great. Leaf of the wind, whenever you take aim for two AP with a melee weapon and successfully strike, roll two fury dice. Select for the eternal weapon damage. Take aim as a reaction before parrying attacks. Oh! <gasps> What? This attack with a bladed type of weapon to utilize this trait. Hold up, folks. I might have found my thing. Yes, yes, drawing error. I need to look at trappings. Weapons. Give me my martial weapon. So if I have a court sword, it's bladed. And the misericord is bladed. And this says, if I take aim for two AP with a melee weapon, successfully strike, roll fury dice. Yes, in addition, I take aim as a reaction before parrying attacks. Oh my God, hold on now. As a reaction, I have to look at my talents uh, here. There's something about take aim. When you take aim and then make a successful melee attack, you force. So I could parry, take aim as a reaction, and attack of opportunity. attack with bladed type of weapon you lift this trade it must be sheathed before striking <laughs> that's amazing so I parry by drawing my weapon turning their blade attack aside and then taking aim and striking them I have to look up reactions I'm not sure um, I'm not sure Alright, 
let's see here. I need uh, reaction, reaction, reactions, reagents. Um, actions, maybe it's under actions, huh? Actions in combat. Parry is 249. Take aim is 248. Okay, so I gotta go up to. The this could be. This could be it. Uh, I'm on the wrong page. 247, 248. Here. Take aim. Spend one AP to gain 10 base chance in your next attack. If you spend 2 AP, you gain 20. Cannot take aim to cast magic. Right, but I can. What? I can what? I can parry? As a reaction, parry. Here we go. You, when you are successfully struck by a melee roll for damage, make a roll in combat based skill test referring to the skill required to use your melee weapon. Melee weapon is martial melee. Okay. If successful, avoid all damage. You could critically succeed. You avoid all damage. Do not have to spend an AP to parry. I don't have to spend an AP to parry. I mean, I do, but it's a free a point I already get. You cannot parry when left defenseless or helpless, nor can you parry called shots. However, you're armed with a shield, you can parry range-based attack actions. Finally, you cannot parry the effects of perilous stunts. If you're not already armed with a weapon, you cannot draw one in order to parry an attack. <laughs> so if you're if you don't have a weapon drawn, you can't parry. It says, but I have a shield which allows me to parry. And then if I took Blade Dancer, my weapon has to be sheathed to allow me to parry. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to put this down as a note. Note on profession. Blade Dancer. Uh, what did it say? The documents are so big that sometimes they just don't want to draw Okay, let's see. Uh, where are you? There you are. It's 361 pages in PDF form, so chunks up the machine sometimes. Dancer. I'll just put a question mark here. Blade dancer question mark. And then I guess I'm going to have to close this. I'm going to close it all. all. Right now, let's try it again. Just open this book for now. Since this is the one I'm reading. Out of memory! Screw you, Adobe. It's acrobat. Try this again. I need to open this massive book, PDF book, uh, so that I can 
Where is it? It's not, see, no, it's not even listed. No, you're starting to make me mad. Acrobat. You better rethink your thinking. Where'd the book go? <laughs> Where did it go? Where did I put it? I swore I put it in the Zweihander folder. But now I don't see it. That's weird. That's really weird. That could be what was causing problems. It's, it's just gone. I'm totally confused. All right. Oh, computer, you're starting to piss me off. Really need to update. It's like 12 years old. You know what would be nice? A job. <laughs> I'm almost finished with my pot of coffee. When that happens, then I have to change what I'm doing because I'm time blocking my days to try to get everything in. to the first page just go to the first page this is really frustrating what you want your promo code to be so you can share I don't know all the RPGs all the RPGs that's fine um, Blade Dancer is what uh, 40 page 40 Uh, when you take aim for two AP with a melee and successfully strike roll two fury dice, but uh, take aim at uh, take aim reaction. Okay. Take aim as reaction before parry. Parry with extra AP from Bravo. Totally get rid of the candor. Okay. Do, 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 do. Change a line to uh, and lighten detachment. I like that better than candor and cruelty anyway. <clears throat> Butcher Priest advances. No, not Butcher Priest. Virgo Master. Burger Meister Meister Burger. OK. 
Caravan Mystic, Chamberlain, Chevalier. Sell swords travel for quite a lot of time here. It's developed their own way of thinking. Instead of journeying simply for the clink of coin, they journey for either the clash of swords, taste of our fun cuisine, or pure rep. vociferous warriors who stand above other warriors. Well, I'm not going to stand above anyone at four feet tall. Friar, Grandmaster, Grave, Vivivancer, Grognard, <laughs> Habot Conjurer, Hexer. Tell me about the Hexer. No. I don't think that fits. Holy Marauder. Saboteur, Jackdaw, Thieves, Rogues, and Curses. See, now those would be good because I'm really small. These skill you know, is considered pretty successful. I'm going to make some sweet Skullduggery in place of any skill. Whenever you fail in an attempt to use Skullduggery, you cannot use Fortune Points to change the results. Jackdaw, Kinslayer, Maestro, Minister of Rot, Newt Warden. Incredible numeration. I've already got that. That would be interesting. What's it say? You can use tradecraft still to forge fantastic machines. Take practically any form you can imagine. The black pistol that transforms into a sword. Living paintings, personal body, which is you know, supreme design. Truck gallon. No. Outlaw Chief? No. Physiker? No. Rhyme Maiden? No. Yarrow? Sanguine Legionnaire? Sanguine Legionnaire? Sharpshooter? Shipmaster? Shopkeeper? The Prophet Skinwalker? Swarm Sword? Try by combat. Hmm, what's he get? Uh, when you inflict a grievous injury upon a foe, they in are instantly slain. You must use a melee weapon to take advantage of this trait. Advanced your two skill ranks in martial melee. I've got it. It could work. So far, it's my only choice. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what? Typing classes. <laughs> typing classes. I took a typing class. Wonderful. All right, professions. Advanced tier. Uh, you should take up under considered as some of the events the story adventures which your characters got through this one. Select a new. You may freely select any other profession within the same archetype. Wait, what? Alright, 
chance to get uh, extra professions. Archmage, no. Assassin. I don't have two ranks in stealth. I don't know what you typed in chat. I don't know what that means. Euro, Euro lands. Incantation, Batlander, Survival, uh, nope. Barrister, Black Magister, Bloodmonger, Chattel Slaver, no. Crime Boss. Ranks in Skullduggery. I don't have any ranks in Skullduggery. I'm not a Skullduggery. I'm not a Skullduggerer. <laughs> Dark Disciple, Demagogue. Boy, that Demagogue, it face sure looks familiar. <laughs> leadership. I don't think I even have leadership, do I? Duelist. You must have coordination. I do. I have two. What does Duelist give me? Master of Defense. When you are struck by a melee weapon, roll a d6 chaos die. If it lands on six, you ignore it as you automatically parry it for zero. Oh my god. That would trigger a whole bunch of other things. Otherwise, you can attempt to parry as usual. But another lightning reaction skill rank. Right? Then could I swap it out? No mercy. And fencer's panache. Hmm. Tell me more about this. Oh, you would, you would bump up my rumor. My simple melee and my toughness. One second, everybody. can only ever wear quilted armor to augment your damage threshold. Otherwise, you cannot use any of your traits or talents conferred by this profession. So I'd have to give up my leather armor and go to quilted armor. Hmm. 
get armor. It's one below. It changes my damage threshold modifier by one. Where's the encumbrance value? I'm going to put it as a possibility. No, Executioner, no, Explorer. Why does he look like Indiana Jones? Must possess at least one in both education and navigation. have in both coordination and martial range. I do not I do not martial ranged coordination I do what would that get me pistol gear you can load any weapon possessing the gunpowder as an action for zero AP in addition you can ignore the volatile quality of weapons that also possess the gunpowder quality being the nemesis drawback upon entering this profession if you already have a nemesis Doctor Pledge Guard. Hello, Pyromancer, Reverend Mother, Rune Thane, Scala, Shaman, 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 Soothsayer, Truthsayer, Veteran. in martial melee and resolve. Ooh. Many faiths have splinter religions and are dedicated to particular aspects of their gods. For every successful strike, parry, or dodge you make during combat, increase your place on the initiative ladder by one.
<laughs> I suffer three corruption if I kill another halfling. Um, warfare, toughness, same thing, simple, scrutinize, resolve, martial melee. I mean, that would bump me up to three martial melee. Tough choices, tough choices. War, dervish, question mark. Bumps, martial melee. Not a warlock. Not a white wolf. Alright, now I'm going to go back down to regular professions. Um, those were all the expert professions. Let's see what I qualified for. Let's see if I can take on regular. What time is it? An hour 17 minutes. Did he say save us from losing our arse? <laughs> Hello, lurkers. I see you out there in chat, y'all. I am trying to uh, put together my character for Zweihander, um, an RPG that I'll be playing every other Sunday night on TT2KB on Twitch. And uh, it's brutal. Uh, character generation is random, so you roll random numbers to determine what you are. I could have stayed human, but I went with halfling, and then I got this really cool uh, physical appearance. Where so I'm four foot tall and sixty four pounds. So how do you make uh, a combat expert out of that? Because he's a warrior bravo. So he's a four foot tall duelist. I feel like I'm stabbing people up through the stomach a lot, <laughs> or maybe maybe right through being between the fourth and fifth rib with an upward thrust that should take him out. Um, but then he has light brown skin, fiery red hair, and copper eyes. How curious. And we're playing vigilantes. So we're less than superheroes, sort of. So, like, I think his name might be Firebrand. Because he looks like a little four-foot-long torch. <laughs> light brown skin, fiery red hair. He's going to have to wear a... a, a he's going to have to wear, like, a... Like a whole headpiece to get it. people gonna figure out who he is. I don't stick out in the crowd at all. What are you talking about? I'm four feet tall. I have fiery red hair. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> we're um, doing an advanced level game. So the way Zweihander works is uh, you have tiers. So the basic tier was that I am a Bravo. Um, so uh, I like to strike fast, like a dueling type of thing. But then our, my second one is the Vigilante. <clears throat> and that gets me a bunch of different skills and talents. Now the third one is the one that I'm contemplating right now. Because I set it up so that... So as a Bravo, um, you, you have, it's an action point economy. And so... Um, for example, Lightning Reflexes says in combat I get an additional action point, but I can only use it to dodge or parry. Cool. So I get a free point that I can use on parry. Um, and then when you look at Vim and Vigor from Bravo, when I parry, I get to attack right away. As long as I have a finesse weapon, which I do. I have all finesse weapons. Um, and also with that finesse weapon, if I take aim, which costs an action point, and then attack, I can disarm, potentially disarm my enemies, which is cool because then they have to pick up their weapon or whatever. Um, and then when I deal damage with um, a weapon with fast quality, which both of my blades are fast finesse weapons, uh, then they have to make a check or they might begin to bleed. Also cool. And that's every time I strike with one of these weapons. Um, so, I'm all built up to like flash steel and um, and then like get this chain reaction like 
use a point to take aim and then attack and then save a point to my extra point to parry because the parry gets me an attack of opportunity the successful parry gets me an attack of opportunity as long as I'm using my blades uh, I had thought he was going to be a talker I thought he was going to be like a I'd rather win a war of words than, than a, a war of blades because of this hot fellowship. So your abilities are all 3d 10 plus 25. So the highest you can have is 55 and I got a 52 in fellowship. So bargain charm, disguise, guile, handle animal, leadership, and rumor are all my bailiwick as it were. But I'm also pretty good in uh, martial melee. That's the Bravo thing going on. Uh, because both my my bladed weapons are martial melee. And then simple melee, I have a blackjack, which I have another thing too, where like people, if I'm using a blackjack, it says here, when I attack with a blackjack, the foe cannot dodge or parry this attack. So I could, I'm four feet tall, get in a bar fight, jump up on a table, pull up my blackjack, and crack somebody over the head with it, um, and then they don't get to dodge or parry the attack. That's That's a valuable thing. Especially if they're not looking at me, they're fighting with my friend, and I just go, whoosh! So, now I'm looking at this third row, this third advanced tier here. What do I want to put in there? And I'm, like, taking notes. So, like, uh, if I scroll back up here, I took Blade Dancer. If I aim, I get aim as a reaction before I parry, so then it would be, uh, I prepare to parry, and then I, it gives me take aim, and then I get to do my attack of opportunity. That's kind of cool. And it would change my alignment to enlightenment detachment. So in Zoihander, so you have... Um, you have order, chaos, alignments, and they're like these two qualities. So I have candor, candor, and cruelty. So I'm mean at times, which would also work into this because um, if I choose, I think Blade Dancer, uh, when I when I fight, when I kill people, I do it painlessly. But then if he's cruel to get chaos ranks, uh, I would simply just not make it painless all the time. Excruciating is what I would probably do. Uh, and I, I would start ranking up chaos ranks to get towards some corruption. And that's alright. But I could also go blade, if I go blade dancer, it changes that to enlightenment detachment and then um, it changes the internal motives sort of of the character. So that's really curious. I could go duelist and then when I'm hit, I roll a chaos and if I get a six, I parry freely. But I technically already parry freely. But then I could parry for free and dodge. I just lose the leather armor I have and go to quilted. Pistolier and war dervish are other options right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards Blade Dancer, I think. It works with the Bravo thing. He's only four feet tall, so he's like, huh, 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 whoosh. And it's a lot of quick attacks. One of them is like, because I have a shield, I can parry with the shield, and then my sword has to be sheathed. And so I can parry with my shield and then uh, attack with the sword, drawing it out. <laughs> so then I'd be walking into fights without my sword drawn every once in a while, which would be really interesting. Very vigilant, I have to be like, hold on, my daughter needs a
All right, so what was I talking about? Um, oh yeah. So I looked, those were all experts or main gauche, um, which was an add-on book. So now I'm just gonna look at like regular professions and see if I wanna take one of those, if it helps me. Um, and I kind of have an idea of what the character's all about. So there's, I'm just gonna skip over a bunch that, that just don't fit in to the, um, to the idea of the character at all. So adherent, no. Anarchist, mm, not really. Animal tamer, uh-uh. Antiquarian, apothecary, artisan, astrologer, barber surgeon, beggar, gotta hope not, berserker, boatman, bone picker, uh-uh. Bounty hunter. Considered cold, calculating, and ruthless, there is no other career so greatly feared than the enigmatic. Can you imagine a four foot, sixty four pound bounty hunter? Dog the hunter, or whatever his name is, I am not. <laughs> Survival, toughness, simple range, simple melee, rumor, ride. Oh, it would get me a ride skill. I do not have right now. Uh, for a few shillings more. In combat, whenever you make your first attack action with a ranged weapon, you never miss. Oh, that's right. I played a bounty hunter before, I remember. And if you can add on a whole bunch of stuff to that, you can do like double, triple damage. In addition, your intended target cannot dodge, parry, or resist the attack. You also add an additional 1d6 fury die to the same attack. Fire from afar, run up. I don't know. I don't know. Bounty Hunter's interesting, maybe. Bravo, I already am. Buccaneer? A hold full of rum, a belly full of fish, and a nose full of salty air. Simple, simple resolve. Pilot intimidates. Doesn't sound like it. Burglar? I make a good burglar. He's only four feet tall. Stealth, skullduggery. Simple range, rumor, folklore, guile, counterfeit, bargain, awareness, athletics. Mm, it, it expands more than uh, intensifies. So it gives me a whole bunch of stuff I can't do very well now, um, as opposed to reinforcing what I'm already good at. So I think that would make me less specialized, not, not as strong overall. Charlatan, cheap jet, coachman, courtier, cultist, theologist, doomsayer, dragoon. Uh, dragoon is a whole bunch of uh, so dragoons are uh, horse riding warriors, like with a lance or a rifle or some some type. Uh, firearm. When you fail a handle, handle, or test ride test, you may reroll the. <coughs> excuse me. Generate a better result. That doesn't. That doesn't fit. Soaring towers, flying buttress. Not an engineer. Not an entertainer. Not an envoy. Mm, not a footpad. It's a low-level thief. <laughs> Fop? No. He's lowborn. Gambler, gamekeeper, grave robber, gutter snipe, uh, orphan from broken home. I am low born. That could be true. Uh, made the way in, uh, the artful dodger. You automatically gain every focus in the stealth skill when you enter this profession. This means you may exceed your normal limits of focus and set by your idea of your stealth level. Interesting. I would go from zero stealth to all stealth. Oh no, I got one stealth. Counterfeit disguise, eavesdrop. Folklore, guile, rumor, simple range, skullduggery. It gets me some stuff I don't have, like skullduggery and survival. And guile. No, I have one guile. I don't think that's it either. Hedge Knight, Highwayman, Informer, Informer. I don't know the words of this song. 
boom, 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 down. <laughs> Investigator? No, that's not my thing either. I don't think so. Jester, laborer, man at arms, militiaman. Huh. Well, I would just not answer the phone then. <laughs> Never provoke opportunity attacks with movement actions or any other actions you take in addition to your movement action. A foe. Any movement action a foe takes. While engaged with you, immediate folks action, opportunity, opportunity, attack opportunity. Man, that's a good one. Gets me warfare, tradecraft, survival, stealth. Survival, stealth, tradecraft. Simple, simple, athletics, awareness, coordination. Monk, old believer. Nope. Outrider. When you fail an awareness stealth test, you may reroll to regenerate. Peasant, pilgrim, pit fighter, preacher, prostitute, provocateur. Charm, disguise, eavesdrop. Give me two ranks of charm and disguise. Uh, two in gamble. For fatal bond. <laughs> bond. James. Jim Bond. Jimmy Bond. Racketeer. Uh -uh. Raconteur. Skullduggery, simple range, scrutinize, room work, aisle, folklore, education, eavesdrop, counterfeit bargain. Rake, rat catcher. Reeve. Man, I'm just not any of these things. I don't see them as any of these. Uh, cell sword. Cell sword. When battle looms near, uh, you never suffer serious injuries. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> cell sword's reputation is mean more than their skill. Do they honor their contracts? Solicit bits from the competition? Are they cold, calculated parents? Do they seek out reason? Violence. Let's get me another martial melee. That would that would peep that up. So I'm gonna sell sword maybe three in martial melee. Uh, warfare toughness would get me three in simple melee as well. That's my blackjack. Athletics intimidate. <laughs> I jump up on the table and grab somebody by the by the face. Less Tyrion Lannister and more, um, more uh, his character in Elf, <laughs> the uh, the children's author. <laughs> Call me Elf one more time. Uh, you're an Elf. That's it. <laughs> Call me Elf one more time. I'm a halfling. Slayer, smuggler. Smuggler might not be bad. Stealth, simple, simple. Rumor, pilot, drive, disguise. Uh, 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 Hans, <laughs> Hans shot first. When combat begins, you gain three APs that must be used immediately at the top of the initiative order, even if you were surprised. Once spent, determine your place in the initiative order and take your turns normally. If more than two smugglers are present, I've played a smuggler before. That's what it was. I was a, I was a smuggler bounty hunter. And so... Right when combat started, I got a free shot that with my range weapon that always hit. It was amazing. It was amazing. Oh, I got to check some math homework.
<laughs> okay. Um, smuggler, I mean, smuggler's good. Because I get three AP right off the bat. Let's go back to uh, rewards and tears. No. Uh, talents and traffics. Okay, then you can turn that in. Um, uh, it's it, it's it's cool, and it worked really really well with Bounty Hunter Smuggler. That one was brilliant. At the top of every combat, I fired first, and it always hit. <laughs> Dastardly. Uh, Trapper Vagabond. Oh, we're getting down to the end here, folks. I'm just, I... Uh, Valet uh, Vagabond. Uh, folklore, Stealth, Survival, Toughness. Uh, Valet Vigilante, I already have. Watchman. Uh, games roll 2d10 instead of 1d10 to determine your place in the initiative order. That's it. All right, so I've narrowed it down to Blade Dancer, Duelist, Pistolier, War Dervish, and Cell Sword. And I think I'm going to go Blade Dancer. Did you get them all in there? Mm. I'll hold it. You, you close it. Mm. We'll close it as if left me. Everybody. Feel it. Yep. You gotta line them. You gotta line them up so you look, you look at them. You see the blue one and the one's blue and one's red, right? Well, one's blue and one's purple, sort of. And you gotta. Did you hear it click? Okay. Can you try that? Like, look. See how they're right on top of each other? Yes. Okay. Now squeeze right there. And you got it, right? So then you just hold it there and zip. Just like that, right? Once you get that first click, then you can just zip. Okay? Yeah, good job, chill out. All right, so I think I'm going to go Blade Dancer. I'm going to hit up the GM, Dustin, and see what he says. It seems to be like the coolest sort of thing, especially with that take aim as a reaction before I parry, and I already get to parry from an extra action point. Otherwise, Duelist doesn't make sense, because I already get to parry based on a free action, but I could parry and dodge. So, oops. So, could parry and dodge. Each round. Hypothetically, I gotta roll a d6 on that. That's not it. Duelist is not it. Pistolier. No. War Dervish, Bumps Melee to Cell Sword. Oh, I have to look at War Dervish again. All right, my, my pot of coffee is done, which means so is this stream for, t for today. But I got some good work done on my Zweihander character. Chill out, bought a tricorn. My daughter got her math homework done. That sure makes it sound like a good start to the day. So, keep on trucking, everyone. These days are strange still. It's not like 2020 turned off and then all the weirdness turned off. So, we gotta just keep, keep on trucking. That's dumb. Keep on pushing on, moving on, moving on. Uh, Gloomhaven today. Interesting question. Uh, see what the old Google Calendar says. Because um, I will do DM prep later today. Because uh, I'm scheduled DM prep from 4 to 6 on Mondays. So I'm going to have to hang out with the kid. Probably not today. Uh, maybe at maybe late, which would be really early in the morning your time. Maybe. Am I 
the stream right now. I ate my time on recording the podcast. Okay. All right. Well, hit me up later. We'll see what's up. Maybe maybe if Lich isn't busy, he might play some Blue Haven with us as well. Yeah. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Get some work done, or whatever. I'm not. I'm not the boss of you. Ha, ha, ha.